It's great to hear from you, mate. The job sounds right up my street. Normally, I bite your hand off, but time is just not quite right. Sorry. You take care, mate. Right, stay in touch. What was that about? Just been offered a new job. Where? Bromsgrove. Bromsgrove? That's miles away. My mate Dan from London, he's set up a new firm, he wants me to join him. I turned it down, obviously. Well, I know this isn't exactly the Ritz, but at least you've got your own room now. Sean's moving out. And I might not show it, but I do love having you back. You know, there was just for a few seconds a moment, though, where I thought, if I did take it, get away from all the aggro here. Aggro? Oh, Billy, I'm just doing my head in. Why, what's happened? You had a go at me last night. Accused me of trying to get off with Paul. It's totally out of order. Doesn't mean you need to move away, surely? I'm sick of it. All I'm doing is trying to be a good mate to both of them. He knows that deep down. Maybe you just need to have a word with him, clear the air for Summer's sake. Don't let him put you off staying around here. <sighs> Maybe. I'm going to let him stew for a bit first. He can do some of the running this time. Yeah, um, they said that she's getting stronger, but, you know, she's so tiny. I mean, she should still be inside Grace, safe, protected, but yet she's rigged up to loads of tubes. I wish there was something I could do. Thanks, but, uh, no, Dad's been great. All right? Uh, yeah, just singing your praises, Grandad. Ah, one does one's best. Any news? Uh, well, you know, I'm heading up there now, but they did say that she's definitely anemic. Do you know what's causing it? Uh, no, well, they're going to run some blood tests. Well, Aggie says she just needs time to develop, so I'm sure she's going to be OK, so... Yeah, I hope so. Well, i tell you what, why don't you both pop up and we can see her? Now? Yeah. Oh, son, I'd love to, but oh, I've got to get to work. And didn't you say you had stuff to do this morning, yeah? Seeing Glory's more important. Oh, well, you can drop by later if you're busy now. I mean, we're not going anywhere. Thanks, I'll do that. OK, see ya. What are you playing at? He offered, I want to see her. What harm has it got to do? Well, that depends on what you end up saying. I know you. But see that little mind of yours ticking over about sickle cell? I've told you, Glory doesn't have it. So he can deal with all that on his own. Yeah. I didn't realise she was so bad, you know. I took my off the ball with Sam and Natasha. You can't blame yourself, though, can you? It sounds to me as though Leanne was determined not to let anybody find out. Simon say where she was yesterday. Back at the flat. Said she was OK. Something's not right. Maybe too. Hey, look, uh, do us a favour. Don't mention this to Mum. Just forget this conversation. Yeah. Hey, mate, uh, how you doing? Uh, how's your mum? She's fine. Listen, about yesterday, I was panicking over nothing. <laughs> Come on, it's not nothing. Just wish you'd let me help you both. It's fine, honestly. She's been loads better recently. I just I freaked out when I couldn't get a hold of her. Right, OK. Well, look, I've got some spare time. Why don't I grab some coffees and pop up? Oh, she isn't in. Right. Uh, well, when's she back? Oh, I'm, I'm not too sure. Well, look, um, about this fella she's been seeing. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to get going. I'll catch you later. You do know you don't work here anymore, right? Oh, I didn't clear my locker out when I left. Just picking up my stuff. I could have done that for you. It's all right. Aye, aye, unless there's something that you didn't want me to see in there, you felt monkey. Ah, well, that's disappointing. I guess that's lunch sorted, though. Oh, I can't eat a thing. Oh, yeah? Must have been a good night if you're off your food. Or are you lovesick? Give over. Oh, what about you and, uh, what was his name again? Jimmy. Hmm, Jimmy. You were getting on like a house on fire when I left. He was hot. Did you cough off? None of your business. All right, you to be coy. He's a bit keen. Kept asking when we were going to get a room. Did you? I told him I'd just come out of a relationship. Oh, you're supposed to be enjoying yourself, not banging on about your ex. That wasn't part of the plan. Plan? 
You know, him getting you out, putting a smile on your face. I did like him. He just started to feel a bit forced. Anyway, why are you so interested in my love life? What can I say? I'm just a hopeless romantic at heart. So you're gonna see him again? I don't know. Maybe. Don't really think I'm ready. Anyway, best get back to work. See ya. Yeah. Me too. See you, mate. Never have I needed caffeine more. Yeah, tell me about it. So overworked and underslept, that's our problem. I know, so we apply to foster a teenager. What are we thinking? Do you think we'll hear back from social services today? I hope so. Yeah, they might not like the fact that we instigated it all. Look, it's a good placement, who cares? The assessment went well, and Kelly wants to be with us, so that's one hurdle out of the way. Yeah, I guess so. But I'm really chuffed you're on board with this. Well, why wouldn't I be? Look, this is why we got into fostering in the first place. True, but I just thought you were more interested in babies and younger kids. Yeah, I loved our time with Mason, but I really feel for Kelly. No kid should be in a situation like that. You mean she's a handful? Well, so was I at her age. OK, when I moved here with my family, the very first thing I did was lift a power tool out the back of someone's van. Really? Mm -hmm. I was always nicking stuff, drinking, skiving off school. She's what, nearly 16? OK. At 16, I was on the M6, hitching a ride to London. On your own? Mm -hmm. I was looking for my birth father. Long story, but well, my stepdad was pretty useless. Let's. Mm. And that's what I mean. If I'd had better role models, then maybe I wouldn't have gone off the rails. Well, you did all right in the end. In fact, I think you're pretty amazing. I know, right? I mean, imagine how incredible it'd be if I'd actually had a decent upbringing. I would be way out of your league, pal. See you later. Oh, sorry, you've been gone ages. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. There was a massive queue. Well, you need to ring me let me know that you're okay, that you're safe. Have you heard anything of Harvey? No, he'll be in touch soon, then I'll speak to Glyn. I saw Nick earlier. He was on his way here. What? It's okay, I told him you were out. I need to tell you something else as well. Yesterday, I, I sort of let it slip about Christmas, about you not going to France. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't get a hold of you. I was scared. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault. I don't know what to do. Nick's really worried. He reckons that you need him now more than ever. He won't let it lie. Yeah, well, he can't come here, say It's not safe. I can't let somebody else that I care about get put in danger. We need to put him off. He needs to stay clear. OK, I'll sort it. I promise. Thought we might invite Todd over for tea. Tonight? Yeah. I could do a spag ball. Uh, well, you, things are a little bit awkward between me and Todd. Why? Uh, we just we had a bit of a spat last night. It's no biggie. I just I need to speak to him, normalise things. What do you mean? What's happened? Nothing. Nothing. It was just me being a bit silly. <sighs> what have you done? You all right? Yeah, fine. Have you two had a row as well? No. How was, um, how was your night out? It's good, yeah? Todd came back early. Without you, who are you with? That's none of your business. I'm young, free and single. And vulnerable. I wouldn't want anyone taking advantage. Don't patronise me, OK? I can look after myself. That's not your job anymore. Yeah, I know. I, it, it just came out wrong. I, I will look out for you, but I still care. Look, I don't need looking out for. I was out, OK? I was getting smashed. I was having fun. What am I gonna do with you? Oh, yeah. You all right this one's fine? Yeah, I uh, got my biology book. Mr. Weaver goes mad if we don't have it. So. Cool. So, listen, can I get anything while you're here, honey? Because you know my hot chocolate is good. No, I'm fine, thanks. You sure? It's just you were really uh, 
more quiet this morning. I'm fine. Right, so we're happy. Nina made me happy. And I blew it. No, so. honey, you didn't blow it. We all make mistakes now. Have you talked to her? To embarrass talk to her. No, come on, she's lovely. I really think you should try it. I'm gonna go and get my book. You can have another pop at me. What are you going to accuse me of this time? Oh, I said I was sorry. I was just... I was upset about Paul. I just... I overreacted. I don't like being used as target practice. Yeah, I know. I know that I've, I've clearly got some issues that I still need to work through. I've just seen him now. His textbook. Jealous ex. Asking him about last night, who he was with, what he was doing. Take a leaf out of his book. Wash that man right out, yeah. It's not that simple, though, is it? I was just still loving. I still care for him. So you're having second thoughts about breaking up? <laughs> no. No, but, you know, we've been together a long time. You can't just switch them feelings off. If you ever want to talk about it, I'm here. Thank you. Look, I've, been, I've got a meeting that I need to prepare for, so... So, Michael's told us that the hospital have confirmed that Gloria's got anemia. Us? Yeah, uh, me and Ronnie. I saw him chatting with Michael, so I dashed in, tried to get him. Oh, just the two of them? Well, yeah, but what do you expect me to do? I mean, they were over... They can't be alone together. It's too risky. Ronnie's his uncle. They're going to want to hang out together. And besides me trying to keep them apart, it's going to look well dodgy, isn't it? I don't trust him. Yeah, well, trust is in short supply around here. Oh, but he never showed me space. Yeah, well, he did. These things cannot stay buried, you know. They're going to come out one day. Oh, you're not saying he's right. Well, then we should tell Michael. No. No, of course not. Well, he's always been a loose cannon. He'll do what he wants and dwell with everyone else. Yeah, well, I'm trying to keep tabs in, all right? I'm doing the best I can, OK? <laughs> really? I have just bought a ridiculous amount of bath salts. Muscle relaxing, magnesium and lavender. It's on offer. Pity I won't be here to enjoy them. Why not? I accepted the job in Bromsgrove. So what's changed since this morning? It's still about Billy. I just think it'd be better if there was a bit of distance between us. To be honest, I made so many screw-ups and it's no wonder he don't trust me. Have you actually spoken to him about any of this? No. I don't want you to either. I mean it, Mum. None of this gets repeated to anyone. It's my decision. Mm, prompted by Billy being childish and selfish. It's complicated. I've only just got you back. I'm not going to lose you again. Don't get involved, Mum. I mean it. Nick, I need to talk to you. Uh, why are you right? Yeah, it's about my mum. I'm sorry to have to say this, but she's seen someone else. Oh, uh, uh, OK. Uh, you sure? Yeah. After I saw you and I went back home, there was a bloke there. Right, I, I thought you said she wasn't ready for another relationship. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously I was wrong. There's no manual on how to deal with a grieving mum. I can't read her mind. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, she says that... She doesn't want you to come around anymore. And she's moved on. And you should too. Ooh, OK. <laughs> hey, Sai, uh, Thanks. Can't have been easy coming here telling me that, so... I appreciate you being honest with me.
are you playing at? Sorry? You chose to break up with Paul. You can't get all jealous when he goes on a night out. He's a free agent. Yeah, I know. I know, look, I was out of order. Yeah, well, your pathetic behaviour's made Todd feel like he needs to leave. Well, hang on. Now, we've, we've spoken about it. I, I, I've apologised. He's fine with it. Well, he's not now. He reckons you prefer it, but he was off the scene. He's been offered a job in Bromsgrove and he's going to take it. But that's ridiculous. Oh, look, I'll, I'll, I'll speak to him this afternoon. Well, he's back at the house. OK, well, I'm just... I'm on my way to a meeting with the bishop. It's important. Well, how long will you be? I don't know. But you need to speak to him this afternoon because you know what Todd's like. Once he gets an idea in his head, he moves fast. Yeah. I just bought some social services. They've agreed to let Kelly stay with us. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, it's just a short-term placement initially, just to see how we all get on. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. So I'm going to move the stuff in this afternoon, and I was thinking that maybe we could go to Speed Dial later to celebrate. Great idea. I'll book a table. Wow, this is actually happening. I know. She's getting much better, isn't she, uh, Glory? She's doing really well. Um, I, this is a bit of a sensitive issue. I, I didn't want to mention it in front of Grace and Michael, but this anemia, um, do you know what's caused it? Not yet. Could it be sickle cell disease? Because um, I, I, I carried a gene. Uh, maybe I could have passed on. All right, you're Glory's granddad. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I still can't divulge any information. But is it possible? I'm afraid I can't say any more. Talk to your son. Yeah. Oh, well. Hi. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Where have you been hiding? Oh, I've just had tons of schoolwork and spend most of my time in my room. Anyway, I didn't think you'd still want to see me, so don't be daft. I'm sorry we can't be more than a friend, but don't avoid me. Please. Let's do something soon. OK. Cool. See ya. See ya. Does she say that you can't be more than friends? If you two split up? What's it got to do with you? Well, I knew it wouldn't last long, so... You just hated seeing me happy, didn't you? It was only because I was jealous. It's my fault. I know you liked it. Look, if you want to do something, it's all right. Take your mind off it. Yeah. Why not? Oh, and we've had the test results back. Glory doesn't have sickle cell. Oh, yeah, thanks. That's, that's great news. I know your dad was worried. Uh, my dad, really? Here he is. You can tell him the good news. Oh, <laughs> no, he's, um, he's not my dad. He's my uncle. Right, it's just you said... Uh, I was digging for info. Uh, she assumed I was Laurie's granddad. Um, I should have put her straight, but, but I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Just came to see if you need help moving your stuff. Oh, does that sound rude? There's, there's absolutely no pressure. Yeah, look, it's, it's my fault. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, don't apologise. It's a big enough place. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get on it. You all right? No. Hmm. It's Leanne. Uh, Sam just came over. She's got another fella and... Uh, she doesn't want me anywhere near her and she wants to move on. So. Well, I've got a date later and I'll blow him out if you need someone to talk to. What? I'm moving your day? No, 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 it's fine. I got loads of work. I'll be fine. Appreciate the offer, you know. You're a good friend. <laughs> I mean, she, she thought you were my dad. I mean, I'd take that as a compliment. <laughs> it's funny. I, um, why did you feel like you had to tell the hospital that you're a carrier of the gene? What is it? I mean, uh, I'm so worried. <sighs> I'd never forgive myself. I forget it. All that matters now is that the baby's getting better. Uh, uh, Uncle Ronnie, wh what's going on? Todd! 
Todd. Oh, um, Eileen came to see me earlier. She, she told me about the job. She had no business doing that. She doesn't want to lose you. She's worried after driven you away, and it's all I now. Well, I, I don't get it. We, we had a chat. We cleared the air. I mean, it, not that it was a, a big deal anyway. It's a great job. Much better than anything around here. Good money, more responsibility, nice car. Be mad not to take it. Okay. Well, I just, I don't, um, I don't want you to leave because of me. I like having you around. Yeah? There is one thing that would stop me taking that job. I still love you. I always have done. And I don't think it's one-sided. So it's up to you. You can tell me to go or ask me to stay. What the Beeberly. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs> 